Hey, good morning, friends, and welcome back to the book of Malachi. It's a precious day that God has given, and we're at Malachi chapter 3, and we're going to go and just look at verse 3 for the moment, just at verse 3. We have already looked at the first two verses in the chapter. Here's what verse 3 says. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. Now, we bump into an issue right here that some, some theologies uh, have that's, that's problematic. The last part of verse 3. He's going to prepare his people, basically the first part of the verse, so that they may offer the Lord an offering in righteousness. Well, what is this? How do you offer the Lord an offering in righteousness? A lot of people have been taught or they've absorbed a certain dogma that says they cannot. We cannot. Nobody can offer God an offering in righteousness. Okay, we have original sin, so they teach. In other words, we're permanently stained from the beginning. Everything we do is tainted by sin. It's tainted by selfishness. And so basically, our position is, is hopeless. God really can't do anything for us. Uh, all he can do is sort of count Jesus' righteousness to us and call it a day. Well, so let's not take away the power and the importance of counting Jesus' righteousness to us. But is the Lord's arm too short that he cannot deliver us? Notice again what, what it says that they may offer to the Lord, they, they, they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. So there's a righteousness that we can have. We're the one who, ones who are choosing it, who are offering it. Where do we obtain this righteousness? Well, we don't get it from ourselves. We don't get it from anything internal to us. There's only one source, obviously, for righteousness, and that is Jesus Christ, the righteous. So what we need to do is have his righteousness applied to us. We need to have his righteousness working in us. His deity, his godness supernaturally changing us from the inside. That's what we need. And I don't believe this is only talking about being counted righteous. Let's read it again. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi. So this is talking about purification. Yesterday we talked about the cleansing and the scrubbing, refiner's fire, launderer's soap. So there's something that's going on inside that's more than just, hey, we're going to count you righteous and call it a day. I'm, I don't, don't demean that. I'm not trying to demean that, but I'm only saying God's gifts to us are more than we can ask or believe. They're always bigger than we thought, not smaller, bigger. And so I believe his plan is to actually purify, just what he says in this verse, his plan is to actually refine and purify us. He's using the image of purifying precious metals, gold and silver. And he's going to purge and he's going to make it so that we can offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. Again, it's not in us. It's given to us, and we give it back. That's all. We're not claiming to be righteous in ourselves, but we know that through the righteousness of Christ, he will transform our hearts. And that's one of the most beautiful things in all the Bible. And so I'm so glad that he's calling us in the sort of in the covenant of Levi, as it were, and yes, as priesthood of believers, I'm not a I'm not a Levite genetically. As far I don't believe so, but you know what? By following Jesus, I can be His servant, and I want Him to purify me, purge me, refine me, and use me. And I think you probably want the same thing. Let's let's ask Him about that, dear Father in heaven. As we're reading this start striking message from Malachi, we want this to be true in our hearts. Please transform us. Please change us. Help us, Lord, to be right. And we do pray that you will accomplish all these pieces, that we'll cooperate, that we won't stand in the way at all, but Lord, that at each stage of transformation, cleansing, changing, that we will submit to your working. It's not our working. Our working would be futile, but in your working, Lord, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I honestly believe that to be true. I've experienced the truth of that in my heart and in my life, Lord. I thank you for it, and I ask you, Lord, do some more. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So may God do this for you and I. He is a precious God. He's, he's ready to do it, I think. Don't you? Have a wonderful day in his service.